Uh, I found Brennan. He was hiding from me. But we're all good. So what did what did Keith have to say? So there's a guy named Keith Ledgerwood, and on Tumblr he said that, um, uh, he said that Flight 370 remained unnoticed as it flew across Malaysia by trailing a Singapore airline flight along the same route at nearly the same time. And so both planes would travel under the same radar blip, so it wouldn't detect it. Mm -hmm. And so, or possibly the radar track thought it the Flight 370 was actually the Singapore flight. Mm -hmm. And then, so it's like a tin flight kind of thing. Yeah. And then the final trace, what's this? Despite the lack of messages from the plane's maintenance system, it continued to search for a satellite with an electronic ping in case it needed to send a potential message. So it reinforced the notion that somebody intentionally turned off the equipment yeah. rather than having it destroyed by an in-flight fire or crash. And then 8.11 a.m., the final ping sounded seven and a half hours after the plane took off. Like, the last they heard of it was seven and a half hours after the flight began. Mm -hmm. So a satellite orbiting above the Indian Ocean uh, detected that the signal was... detected how far away the signal was, but not exactly where it was. Mm -hmm. And so it led to the search in two major arcs stretching over multiple countries and thousands of miles of ocean. And... And the arc is to the north over land, stretching across China to Kazakhstan. Mm -hmm. Sorry if I butchered that name. Mm -hmm. And civilian or military radar picked up, might have picked up the plane, but no sightings were released. Okay. And yeah. so, given the length of flying time, the potential search area is now a circle of 6,400 miles in diameter around where the plane took off, so... Mm -hmm. It's gonna it's a take a hand. long time. Yeah. Not easy. Yeah, I heard that um there was also like a system inside the plane and like once the engine stopped running or something like that, then it like yeah. sent out a signal. Yeah, but th uh, that would mean that it would have had to get that information, so Yeah. It's obvious that there's it's possible someone hijacked it cuz if it's supposed to release that signal why didn't it would be the question yeah it's pretty surprising that this is like uh there's the russian revolution and this is like completely taking over it and my dad says that this could be like uh an important american history thingy mabobber so yeah what can i help with in here real quick not eager but wanting to see what happened to it um i don't really have much in here to work on did you finish your restaurant I have, yes. Mind if we go take a look at it? Sure, it hasn't changed. I finished it last time. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's just take a look. Did you work on lighting in here, though? Did I? I don't think you oh, did. Oh, no, I should have. I should. Yeah, so get lighting done. But I don't okay, want to so make anything fancy, cause so I'll just go with like a... little bit of role play here. Oh, so hungry. I want to go get myself a beef roux. Ooh, uh... I'm just gonna have to walk over these people to get to my serving area. May I have a roast beef sandwich? Thank you. Go over here and sit down. Eat. Hop over these people again. And good. Cool. I like it. Uh, are you just putting down torches for lighting or glowstone? Glowstone. Glowstone. Okay, that'll kind of go. I was thinking the in the overall. rooms. In the rooms, what we should do. Is instead of glowstone, have redstone lamps so they can turn them like on and off. Mhm. Mm yeah, that'd be cool. Cause you don't want to make it so that way they have to use glowstone the entire time. Mhm. Mm uh, so let's see. I need. So why don't you start uh, planning out? Cause we were gonna do like a gift shop, right? Yeah, yeah. And why don't you plan out and maybe start cons constructing those with the leftover space we have and we'll I don't want to do that here cuz this is restaurants primarily so I don't think that really fit well where would you want to put the gift shops then cuz we're going to have to put them somewhere and we're running out of floors 
at least one of these has to be rooms. Another one of them has to be entertainment uh, and stuff like that. And Another one's got to be a pool. That's the top. So, yeah, the other one has to be like some sort of indoor pool. So we're already maxed out. I'm already going to have to raise this higher. So we're going to have to find a place for them. Why don't we find that out? Why don't we accommodate after we've kind of got everything settled? Okay, when well we can find just like empty space then? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so build something over here then. Uh, something to go in this space. All right. Uh, See what you're saying. It might be good to have something on the other side of the wall to okay. maybe make it look a little less plain, like it's just like all on one side of the wall and stuff like that. Okay. And then once you get that, start building it. And once I finish up with this, which won't be too, too long, guys, I'm almost done. Then we can, uh, then we can go over there and help Brennan, all right? Yeah. So, what about, uh, what are we going to talk about? Coco Keys? Oh, Coco Keys. Coco Keys. Oh, it's awful. Uh, if you... so, so let me, let me tell oh, the story. Okay, yeah, I, I think I think you've earned the right to tell the what went down that night. It was it was a chain of dramatic events, and I think that some of us will be scarred for the rest of our lives. Yeah. Not really, but uh. let's so just, let's just say we can call it either cough cough keys. <laughs> or uh, chlorine keys. I'll let I'll let Brennan finish the rest. All right. So. All right. Let's start at the beginning. So we're there from like four thirty. Does that sound right? Yeah. To sounds... nine. And so, to accommodate for all of us students, since there's so many of us coming along with a normal group of people. They, I don't know what they did, just dump buckets of chlorine in the pools or something. Yeah. But you literally could not see your feet when in you were standing. Water. Yeah, it was awful. Oof. Even if you were just standing, like, in the shallow end, you could hardly see them. Mm -hmm. So, and this is no exaggeration, I'm being completely serious here. Yeah, it, it was bad. And so... Uh, so everyone starts coughing like really bad and I think that's how some people actually got sick there is I think somebody had something and then they spread it with the cough it started out as something small like one person or so coughing and then over and then the course of 30 or so minutes everybody was coughing it was awful and so yeah. and, then, and, then the, and then the pizza oh, oh so alright so why don't you talk about that? Uh, the pizza. Uh, a few words to explain it. Milk on dough is the term I've been using. And it was pretty much just dough with a big hunk of cheese slapped on it. And they called it pizza. At first, they didn't even have enough for all of us. So so actually, they, that's kind of good. They it's kind of good. Yeah, I guess that's a good thing. And then they made us go out and buy all of their expensive food. And then once we bought their expensive food, then they came in and gave us the pizza, which was absolutely terrible. And uh, and then after you ate the pizza, you wanted to barf even more. And then there, considering there's the a fact, kid. There's a kid. His name's there's a kid in our grade, and he was literally trying to make himself throw up. I'm not even lying. <laughs> like sticking his finger down his throat. <laughs> yeah, and like punching his stomach, and I'm like. <laughs> Ah, oh, I felt awful for him. <laughs> it was bad. And then the fact that you were in the pool, and what happened is you first started coughing normally until the point at which you really couldn't cough anymore because there's nothing left to, like, actually cough. Right, And then right. at that point, you're pretty much coughing out air, so your body had to, like, find something to cough out. So that was the point at which about half of the people started barfing. And I walked into like the locker room after getting changed. Oh yeah, yeah, you told and me. And there was a group, uh, of like, the whole place was filled. There had to be at least thirty people in there. And I shouted out, "Who here feels sick? Like they're gonna barf?" And every single person in that room raised their hands. Everybody's eyes were red. Looked like they were all on cocaine or something. Uh, as Brennan okay, said, 
but don't worry. But they weren't. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, and it was it was bad. Uh, so with... I don't know if I could call it the worst thing I've ever done, but it's... I will give you five words of advice. Don't go there ever again. Go there. No yeah. go Coco <laughs> Key. <laughs> it's bad. You guys won't have a good time. Oh, you 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 won't. The rides are, aren't even that fun. The the part the f funnest thing about it was actually that little small pool that they had. Yeah. Not it gonna much, lie to you. Much more exciting in there. Yeah. Um. It's actually pretty boring. Yeah. Um. Let me see here. Uh. Okay. I got this place like laid out here, just about. Uh, so I'm almost done here. Have you started on the, um... I have not. Okay. I'm just finishing up lighting here. Oh, lighting. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna set the time back today. Day, 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 day. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, another thing aside from the fact that, uh... There's been Coco Keys and this missing airliner is the fact that I've suddenly uh, gained interest in horror movies for some reason, as I was mentioning to Brennan earlier. It's it's a it's a phase. It's it's a phase. Uh, I started out two nights ago by watching The Cabin in the Woods. Was that any good? Did you like it? It was good. Uh, I looked it up on uh, IMDb and it actually got like. Uh, 75 out of 100 which is actually a really really good score in terms of it movies. is yeah uh it got quite up there and it was like a mystery thriller horror movie uh if you like seeing uh people being grabbed by like bear claw thingies and being dragged and then have like a zombie holding a song like start sawing people's uh necks off and then watching people get like spears in their necks and I would not recommend watching the movie, but uh, if you, if you do, it's your it's your movie. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you like that kind of stuff. Uh, also, if you like uh, looking at Chris Hensworth with no shirt on, then I guess that's the movie for you. It's, it's got that in spades. <laughs> yeah, uh, which I I actually thought it wasn't that uh that. Uh, bad of a movie. I thought it was pretty good. And then the next night, I watched uh, The Purge. The first, the first one. one. Not, Anarchy. The, not the sequel. Anarchy. It's coming out soon. Yeah, it's coming out soon. It hasn't come out yet. Does that uh, look any good? Uh, I don't know. The first one got so-so uh, reviews. I didn't think it was bad as the critics gave it, but that happens sometimes. Yeah, like the critics will say, like, don't go to this movie, you know, a no-go. Yeah. But then it turns out being good, and you like it, and you just kind of disagree. I think they mostly say no go to like humor movies. I think that's their thing. Yeah. Or not horror, humor. Did I say humor? Uh, yeah, I think you said humor. But yeah, uh, I I totally agree with that. And it's really if you get a really really high rated comedy movie, then chances are it's not as funny as you might think it is, because it has like an actual like good story to it and honestly I don't like comedy movies with a super good story to it I like uh movies Flat like out. scary movie kind of like Anchorman. slapstick stuff like that Anchorman Anchorman uh that was one of the few exceptions that had good reviews but it had a good story to it and it at the same had, time it, it didn't really funny. have a good story it's, it's it wasn't too good well, compared to, like, Scary Movie and stuff like that... Yeah, uh, well, it, Scary it was... Movie's a parody. Of course it's not going to have a good story. Yeah. Scary Movie is a parody of modern horror movies. Yeah. So, I guess not that bad. Uh, mm, looking nice over here. Yeah, I, th I think it is. Very much so. Um, finish up here. That, that. And I think I'm done. Now, should I just put glowstone? Uh, could I have a little bit more glowstone lighting on the side of this place? Where? Like, um, you see where I'm standing right here? It's pretty dark, especially at night you know, when I was looking do, at we it. We just go like, we just go like this. Go like that. Bam. Oh, I like that. Can you put one on the other one too so it looks symmetrical? It's there we genius. go. Genius. Genius idea. 
Uh, everybody give Brendan a round of applause. Pat, pat on the back. Yeah. Uh, what I think I'm going to do in here is add a few more paintings to... Yeah, well, just kind of spruce up the place. Yeah, make it look more exquisite. Uh, what do I not need any more of these? Uh, I want the big paintings, like not the little small. Of course, you give me a small one. Uh, yeah, I don't care. Maybe a small one here too. Of course, you give me a big one. Big one. <laughs> oh, really big one. It's like Shakespeare riding a pig lady. Uh, nope. Nope. Come on. Yeah. Nope. No. That that one is cool, but it like wouldn't what match my uh. No. I, like, no, that one doesn't really fit. I want like. I just don't kind want paintings. A, a being natural scene. No. Everywhere. Nah. Stop giving me that one. Here, I'll I'll help oh, you. There's one. There's another one. It kind of looks nice. It's like all the same. All right. Uh, yeah. Can you just go around with like paintings and try to like spruce it up? There we go. Got it. Uh. And maybe one, like, right as you walk into here. There we go. That looks nice. It's got, like, a little skeleton. Some butterflies, which is something nice to look upon. That looks nice. And maybe one more here. Whoa. Nope. Nope. Yep. Okay. Uh, I got the paintings pretty set out here. I kind of like that one. Is yes, there? Uh, yeah, I like that one, too. Uh, I think I'm gonna put some torches in the walkway to make it look like uh, more exquisite. Cause I see like torches being in a like a nice quality restaurant instead of just having big blocks, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So maybe like some torches here. Uh, All right. That looks good. I think I think we're done in here, and I have some furnaces. Uh, actually, I need to spoof up this door a little bit more. Cause right now it's just like a big thingy. I should probably make it look a little bit nicer. What should the theme of the next one be? Like, what kind of blocks? Uh, I have a good idea for the next one, and I'm thinking, like, water-themed. Uh, so what I was thinking, and you can agree or disagree with me, but I think right. it's a uh, unique idea, is to build, uh, here, I'll have to give you, like, a little example here. Yeah, uh, just do it, do it there. Um, so, I'll get rid of that. I'm going to need this. I'm going to need this. And that should be good. Okay, so, pretend these are like the floors, right? But they're going to have to be too high. These are the floors or the walls? Uh, these are the floors. What? <laughs> like that. And you're going to have to, like, uh, walk up a little step to get up to it. And then what I'm thinking is having... Uh, Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Having water down here and then capping it off. Whoop. Capping it off with glass. God darn it. Capping it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh my god. I'm probably taking out all the stuff on the floor. Tether, I'm not like even I'm not even clicking. I uh, like what you've done with the place. <laughs> no, you <laughs> Okay. You, I like. I'm. Well, I right, get up, I up, up, up. I can't. I can't. Oh, I guess you're done. Goodbye. <laughs> no. no. Uh, okay. Thank you. All right. You're just gonna have to come. Just come through there, and then uh, add some glass like that, so you're walking and eating on top of the water. And maybe have though, glowstone. That's gonna be a little. Mm. I don't know. It's just a suggestion. I like it. Can you even... Yeah. I I like it, too. I think it's very unique of me. Okay, let me see if I... Let me see how many... It just takes one step, right? Oh, no, it takes two. So you'd have to have it out a little bit. All right, but, but if it'd be... To, if you were to do it on the other side, I think it'd be something pretty cool and unique. Because here at Caesar's Palace, we're all about being unique, you know? Right, yeah. So I think that's probably how we want to go about doing that. Yeah, I'm going to finish right. up yeah. on this door. Uh, I will take that advice. What kind of brick, though? Uh, what if... That just gave me an idea. What if we did brick? I've already done brick. Or brick like... Brick. Not stone brick, but the other brick? Like red brick. Uh, I'm thinking like... Kind of like a red to like go against the... Um, 
the the white the the water type. like that kind of like this yeah mm -hmm. i it feels very tropical like that and maybe we could have it like a tropic theme so maybe have some like little green bushes and stuff in there too okay because right here i'm seeing like maybe a dock and then having some like uh palm trees and just like sitting there obviously there's no palm trees in minecraft but i can see this being like a pretty cool hip restaurant that people could come and enjoy themselves instead of just eating at just like just a restaurant right you want to make this pretty big and then maybe have like uh save this room right here as either a place where people can like sit down as like a little commons area or we could put like a little mini stand restaurant there yeah or we could end up putting a gift shop there so try to leave that space open but i think this would be very cool and uh you got to make sure to bring it up too as well right right and i'm almost done with this over here which will be uh completing completing and do i still have my fences yeah that that and that uh it doesn't want to bind to the stairs darn it that doesn't look good then um why did i do it on darn it okay all right uh bear with me guys here for a second while i fix this Okay, so I finished up this guys, uh, sped it up. Uh, as you can see, I had a little bit of tinting there to make it look a little bit more like a restaurant and so it's a bit more open. So let's say I come in here to eat, I don't feel like I'm in a place like uh, I'm gonna be killed or something like that and they're just like keeping me here. Nope, I can look out the window and watch the people coming by, which is kind of cool. And people can come by and admire how much of a, how much of a, uh, a fancy restaurant that is. A thrill I'm having at this fancy restaurant. Uh, I fixed up the door a little bit, add a little bit of redstone torch to go in with our overall theme of kind of like a formal low dimmed uh, room. And as we can see here, Brennan is uh, coming up with our pretty cool uh, water type idea of a restaurant that we're constructing, which I think will end up being a pretty cool thing. So with this restaurant, uh, are we gonna like put furnaces in like a little place that they can get their food and then just like resort to um resort to uh self-servicing so like um they can come up here grab their food and then just like take a seat yeah maybe like okay uh I remember we're going for a tropical theme so use uh light wood maybe okay uh, light the jungle wood would probably be nice. For what? For like a... A tropical... Theme. What if I had like... What if I had the... Bo oh, oh no. Okay, good. What if I had the bottom layer is brick? And then like the layers going up were like... Wood. Here, okay, I'll show you. yeah. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying there. Yeah, that will be cool. Um, it feels... Like Which kind of wood? Darker. Um, jungle wood? Jungle wood. To go with our overall uh, overall jungle theme. Jungle love starting again. It's driving me crazy. You ready for six flags coming up pretty soon? Well, that'll be fun. That will be uh, in the eighth grade dance at Memorial Hall. I know we mentioned this last time. You gonna It'll have anyone a, you're gonna ask? Uh, to what? Well, I'm getting there. It's a bit complicated. Mm. I'm getting there, though. Getting there. Me, me too. We're both making an effort. 
Uh, but as most of you know, uh, it's not the easiest thing to do. It's not also the hardest thing to do, but... I've been putting it off for a month now. Yeah, just about the same here. Uh, you no, know those... Like... Uh, wait. You, wait, no, you, you go ahead. No, you go ahead. no, I was just gonna ask where an item is in here. Oh, I found it. So what were you gonna say? It's, it's kind of scary. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. It is pretty scary. I'd be scared myself. Oh, I got really. I got. Yeah, I am. I am really scared. Um, but let's hope it works out in the end. I guess. Yeah, you can look back at that day and like, I was scared. Ah, oh, this is this is easy. And look how <laughs> look how much of a whale of a time I'm having. On the whale trail. <laughs> On the whale. I don't know if you guys have ever played that game. Best game in the world. Absolute best. Uh, so we have this jungle theme going, and I have a really, really good idea for the top. Alright, so check this out, Brennan. You're gonna like this. Alright. Oh, I can already see what it's you're like doing. It's like a cavana. Oh, man. Type thing where you can, like, That's grab awesome. your food. That's you awesome. You can put some sand around the edges, too, to, like, make it feel, like, beachy. I don't yeah, know if... That. If I were eating at a restaurant, I would eat at this restaurant. No doubt about it. I give this French shot a 10 out of 10. Gonna have to make sure to serve some margaritas here and everything and anything that anybody would like. Here, oh, let's that, put the nice. let's put the sand down here. Oh yeah. And like maybe a little bit at the sides. And there. this is kinda like the land area. Where you can like we'll have like little kinda like a what's the word I wanna use? Like uh Island recover and Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Make you feel like you're really Oh, you know what? I can't. Oh, I can just put sand on here, too. Yeah, I'm going to build up a little sand over here on, like, some of the edges to make it look like a little... Like it's, uh... Just nice stuff like that. It's at the Copa. Copa Cavana. One, two, one, two. One, one, one. Two, two, one, two. Nice. Look at and nice. A few pieces here. And I'm just going to plop, like... Uh, a few leaves around these areas. Yeah. If I were a customer, I'd come to this one. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure to charge them a lot, too. Cause if they're gonna want to eat here, they're gonna have to pay the price. Uh, there. Put some leaves there. Drop some leaves there. Uh, we gotta light this place up. Uh, and I'm thinking, like, if, if you were on a beach at night, how would they light it up? Think like that. Cause once once it turns a night, bonfire. you a bonfire. A bonfire. Oh, that's that's brilliant. Oh my god, I can't believe that. That's like the coolest idea I've ever heard. A bonfire inside a restaurant. It's genius. <laughs> that is genius.